Hello, my name is Anastasia. Welcome to my channel. Today I prepared a fun video for you which is called Girls vs. Nail Technicians. As I am a girl myself and a nail technician, I have been on both sides of this life and I am glad to share it with you. Let's begin! What's the difference between me and you? What's the difference between me and you? Me and you? Me and you? Number one is talks. Girls usually talk about different girly things, like they discuss a new collection of clothes, they can discuss where they're going to cook for the dinner. Oh, hi, how have you been? Have you seen this new Zara collection? It's so hot. Oh, you're buying a new car? That's so great. What color? Really? Matt got divorced? Why? Nail technicians usually discuss all latest nail things. Even people they discuss, they're all somehow related to the nail industry. Oh, hi, girl. Oh, acrylic bead is curing right on your brush. Okay, I'll keep it short. Have you tried this new gel system by Best Nails? You should definitely try it. It's so thick. It actually applies by itself. It files by itself. So great. What did John say about your new nails? What? He didn't notice that? What a bastard! What? She didn't show up again on a scheduled appointment? Girl, I told you you should quit the scheduling appointments without deposits. This is not gonna end up good for you. What's in their bag? Girls usually carry all the things that you might need to fix your makeup. So it might be concealer, it can be a lipstick, a lip gloss. Also, they should usually have a perfume, napkins, wet napkins, you never know what can happen. Nail technicians usually have different weird naily things with them. So this is the new foil I bought in a craft shop. And this is the glitter for my kids store. This is really cool. I'm going to mix it with my gel. And also, I bought these fabulous rings. But you never wear rings. Oh, uh, well, I'm going to put them on my client's fingers to take better pictures of their nails. Oh, oh, and also I bought this nice notebook, which is a dope background to take pictures of their nails, too. Shopping. Girls usually shop for clothes, purse, shoes, dress, underwear, like home decoration stuff cosmetics, things they will need for their home. Nail technicians usually shop for everything that's related to nails. Gels, powders, more colors of gel polish, glitters. Even though you already have your shelves full of products, you might open your own nail shop tomorrow, we still always need more and more. More glitter, more shades, more chrome powders, more brushes. It seems like we will never get enough reaction to new things. When girls notice some nice purse or watch or a piece of jewelry or hairstyle, anything on another girl, she might give her a compliment and think what, how nice should it be to have it on your own and she might ask for an advice or where she got it. Nail technicians, when they see some new purse, pattern, architecture, new building, it might be even pattern on the carpet, on the wall, they immediately transform it into designs for new ideas. Oh my god, this purse is amazing! You know what we can do? I will take my chrome powder, then I take a black background, break it into triangles, and we will do a design that's exactly like this purse. Yes! yes. Like we see the world through the prism of how can we do it on the nails to get exactly the same effect. Like watching TV. Girls prefer different kind of movies, but mostly I believe this is romantic comedies or action or horror movies or thrillers or some girl movies like Sex and the City, Desperate Housewives, etc. Nail technicians probably prefer the same, but they usually notice all of the actors' nails and usually don't like them, but also we're constantly in search of new ideas, new videos on the YouTube, new designs, so we're constantly looking for new opportunities to learn, to see other nail technicians working, to discuss new techniques, new products, new designs we just saw 
on the web. If there was such a nail channel, I believe we would constantly watch it all the time. Posting photos. Girls take photos when they know that they look nice, they have a nice hair, nice makeup, they want to take a photo of their new outfit or a swimsuit. But first, let me take a selfie. Nail technicians usually take pictures of nails. So their feed and their photo stream is full of nails only. And sometimes it's even hard to find something else through these photos. One time my friend asked me to show a picture of my cat and it took me a few minutes until I finally scrolled through all of these bazillions of nail photos and finally found a single picture of my cat. What do we look forward to? Girls look forward for different occasions. It might be a date with your boyfriend or with your husband. It might be a night out with your girls or your family. Nail technicians look forward to beauty shows, nail shows, seminars, workshops, all things related to nails and events where they can finally meet their fellow nail technicians to share the latest news, ideas, trends, etc. So that means that we are constantly in search of something new, fresh ideas, fresh motivations, so we're constantly learning. This was my overview for girls versus nail technicians. I hope you guys enjoyed it and liked it. Please don't take everything that I said seriously. I really don't want to offend anybody. And let me know if you have more ideas about this topic. If you know other differences between girls and nail technicians, please share. I would really love to read them. Thank you very much for spending your time and watching this video. I would really love to see you again in my next videos. Thank you. Bye. Like we see the world through the prism of how can we do it on the nails to get exactly the same effect. Like watching TV. Girls prefer different kind of movies, but mostly I believe this is romantic comedies or action or horror movies or thrillers or some girl movies like Sex and the City, Desperate Housewives, etc. Nail technicians probably prefer the same, but they usually notice all of the actors' nails and usually don't like them. But also we're constantly in search of new ideas, new videos on the YouTube, new designs. So we're constantly looking for new opportunities to learn, to see other nail technicians working, to discuss new techniques, new products, new designs we just saw on the web. If there was such a nail channel, I believe we would constantly watch it all the time. Posting photos. Girls take photos when they know that they'll in your own nail shop tomorrow. We still always need more and more. More glitter, more shades, more chrome powders, more brushes. It seems like we will never get enough. Reaction to new things. When girls notice some nice purse or watch or a piece of jewelry or hairstyle anything on another girl she might give her a compliment and think what how nice should it be to have it on your own and she might ask for an advice or where she got it nail technicians when they see some new purse pattern architecture new building it might be even pattern on the carpet on the wall they immediately transform it into designs for new ideas oh my god this purse is amazing you know what we can do i will take my chrome powder then i take a black background break it into triangles and we will do a design that's exactly like this purse yes. hello my name is anastasia welcome to my channel today i prepared a fun video for you which is called girls versus nail technicians as i am a girl myself and a nail technician i have been on both sides of this life and I'm glad to share it with you. Let's begin. What's the difference between me and you? Me and you? Me and you? What's the difference between me and you? Me and you? Me and you? Number 1 is talks. 
girls usually talk about different girly things like they discuss a new collection of clothes they can discuss where they're going to cook for the dinner oh hi how have you been have you seen this new zara collection it's so hot oh you're buying a new car that's so great what color really Matt got divorced why nail technicians usually discuss all usually have different weird naily things with them so this is the new foil i bought in a craft shop and this is the glitter from a kid store this is really cool i'm going to mix it with my gel and also i bought this fabulous ring but you never wear rings Oh, well, I'm going to put them on my client's fingers to take better pictures of their nails. Oh, oh, and also I bought this nice notebook, which is a dope background to take pictures of their nails, too. Shopping. Girls usually shop for clothes, purse, shoes, dress, underwear, like home decoration stuff, cosmetics, things they will need for their home. Nail technicians usually shop for everything that's related to nails gels powders more colors of gel polish glitters even though you already have your shelves full of products you might open the latest nail thing even people they discuss they're all somehow related to the nail industry oh hi girl oh acrylic bead is curing right on your brush okay i'll keep it short have you tried this new gel system by best nails you should definitely try it. It's so thick, it actually applies by itself, it files by itself, so great. What did John say about your new nails? What? He didn't notice that? What a bastard. What? She didn't show up again on a scheduled appointment? Girl, I told you, you should quit the scheduling appointments without deposits. This is not gonna end up good for you what's in their bag girls usually carry all the things that you might need to fix your makeup so it might be concealer it can be a lipstick a lip gloss also they should usually have a perfume napkins wet napkins you never know what can happen nail technicians